felt like we were living and experiencing a real life miracle for the first time. The second I heard that heartbeat and reality set in, I was throwing out baby names and future career choices. Frankie Muniz and his wife Paige Price are going to be parents. The Malcolm in the Middle alum and his forever love announced that they're expecting their first kiddo together in a sweet YouTube video dubbed Frankie and Paige are having a baby. The past four and a half years, Paige and I have experienced so many incredible things together. We've traveled the world and got to live out all these once in a lifetime opportunities. While we still believe it's the little moments in between the big ones that make you feel happiest, nothing quite compares to the first time hearing your little one's heartbeat. The baby news is even extra special because Paige was told by doctors that pregnancy may not be possible for her. When we found out that we were expecting, I think we were both in a state of disbelief. We knew that we wanted this, but we were told that our chances weren't that great. The struggle of going to every doctor's appointment made me feel less and less like a woman. But despite the struggle, the soon-to-be parents revealed that Paige is 15 weeks along and their little bundle of joy is due March 2021. Frankie popped the big question back in 2018, and the two got hitched in February after first eloping on October 3rd, 2019. The couple has been on the road and traveling while their home is being repaired. The duo lost everything inside their Phoenix home when their cat turned on a faucet and caused a massive flood while the couple were in France for Frankie's uncle's funeral. I think the most frustrating thing about losing the house is having to explain it to everybody and then laughing. We'll be in our store and, and customers come in and they go, how's the house? Oh man, I can't believe the cat. That's so hilarious. The cat calls. If it was a fire, would people laugh at you because your house burned down? And back in 2017, the actor opened up with Access Hollywood about how Paige helps him with his memory loss issues. The fact that she writes everything down, know, we so saw cute. that. It was like, yeah. this, how long have y'all been together? We've been together about two years. Um, I, you know, she started writing the journal for me just because I get, I get sad of the thought of losing the memory. You know what I mean? Yeah. And, you know, good or bad. You know, yeah. I just, I, I love to be able to look back and she's, she's a writer too. So she's really, she is amazing in detail with the way she writes to where it really does help bring me back. And uh, I just, I love it, so it's, it's pretty cool. Do you really not Sweet. remember going to Australia at all? <laughs> I don't, I've seen pictures. I was on top of this, the Sydney, the Harbor Bridge or wow. whatever, um, but uh, I don't remember climbing it. <laughs> oh my God. I'm just glad you can remember dance steps. So. <laughs> steps, yeah. The... Do your parents worry more about you as a race car driver than they did about you as an actor, as well, a yeah. kid growing up? Yeah, yeah, I mean, as an actor, I don't know. Like, I just, I was so excited and happy to be where I was and doing what I was doing that, like, I, I, I didn't take it for granted. I just kind of, I did it. Um, yeah. But I'm 31 years old. I've never had a sip of alcohol. I've never touched any. Never? Never. So, like, I, I, I don't know. Like, it just, I, I didn't get into that aspect of where a lot of child stars kind of go down a path um, that leads to bad things. But I don't know. I, I just, I've, I've gotten to do everything I've ever wanted to do. You know what mm -hmm. I mean? And I, I consider myself extremely lucky for that with, you know, acting and then going into race car driving. And I played drums in a, in a band touring all over the world for the last four years. And oh now gosh. I manage a band You're called You're like Astro a Lasso. cat with nine lives. I mean, just, there's all these fun things. Well, there's just the, a lot of things I want to do. Like, and I, yeah. I'm, I, I live my life to the fullest. Like, I don't like to sit down. I like to just keep moving and just do everything I can because that's I why you don't it. have the memories because you're living in the moment too much. You're not appreciating. They say those are the happiest mm -hmm. people though. Yeah.